Good morning. I haven't talked to you in a few days, unless you tuned in on Sunday at 10 a.m. Speaking of that, this coming Sunday, after almost three months, we move back into our broadcast um, inside the building. Now, we really are taking precautions to do this properly, so... Uh, Hope everybody's gracious. It's going to be great. We're going to have a 9 o'clock drive-in uh, for those that are slowly making their way back in. And I understand you got to earn the trust of the people. And, you know, that's what you do. You know, when you, when you hear from God and you want to do what's right, you, you, you want to earn the trust of the people. So we're very cautious and so grateful for a church our size, a good-sized church. That we haven't had one person hospitalized or sick over this thing. And um, now, we have a, a very large online church, uh, probably a few thousand people that are new friends, some old that have, haven't come out, but uh, we're kind of excited about this Sunday happens to be the birth of the church. Did you know that? It's the day of Pentecost. You can Google it. The church was birthed on the day of Pentecost. It was birthed in fire. The fire of God came down. There's 120 people stuck it out. And they, they waited. They heard the words of Jesus. He says, go. I'm... He, he ascended, but the last words he said was, go, get together, pray, wait for me, I'm going to do something, I'm going to send some power, I'm going to birth something greater than some starchy religious community where there's so many things that you do wrong, you can never get it right. I'm going to birth grace, faith, hope, charity, and the move of God is continue to build. So they gather together, a large majority were invited. 120 stuck it out, and Holy Spirit fell. Church was birthed on the day of Pentecost. Happened to be during a feast at Pentecost. My friend scholars out there, you know that. But anyway, I, I, I trust you had an enjoyable Memorial weekend, uh, and that you feasted a little bit on a Barbie yesterday. Uh, Sunday, you took time to give thanks and worship God, uh, tuned into your local church or tuned into us. And, um, but I hope you didn't forget. See, Memorial Weekend is a time where we remember, in this country, those who pay the ultimate price, gave their life, so you and I could, uh, to gather together, the right to assemble, right to free speech, the right to worship God. And, uh, I'm just so grateful for the time we had Sunday. And I hope you had a good weekend. And yes, we had some downtime yesterday, even though it rained most of the day. We still grilled some burgers and hot dogs. Um, had a good time seeing things come alive again. You know, uh, we get the weekend newspaper, the Daytona Beach News Journal, which is our local newspaper. I had a picture of the bandstand there and the beachgoers. A glint of hope. You know, it, you know when, you, when you see the light where you're in the tunnel, in the tunnel, or you See the light coming after a hard night, and dawn is broken. It, it gives hope, doesn't it? Hope. And you know, the Apostle Paul penned in his love chapter, 1 Corinthians 13. You see it on Valentine's Day cards, uh, some of them. You see it on love letters, um, faith, hope, and charity. Greek word for charity is where we also get the word love, which means it's an action love that gives. It's the lover that gets the most love, not the one who demands it. And greater love is no one than this, and one who lay his life down for his friends. And that's what Jesus did on that eternal memorial 2,000 years ago on a hill called Calvary or Golgotha, where he gave his life for you and I so we can get forgiveness of sins, be restored to the love of God through the love of Christ and the Holy Spirit points us towards that. And the Apostle Paul wrote in 1 Corinthians 13, 13, faith, hope, real hope, that brings us through the next hurricane, next recession, next plague. He says, and the greatest of these is love. Oh, how's your love factor over the last 10 to 12 weeks? I hope it's grown hope it's grown beyond the temporal, and I hope it promotes you because of the love of God through Christ, through eternity. Hope to chat with you a couple days, enjoying this cup of coffee with you. Have a good week. Back to work.